Hi, I'm Raquel from the blog Out of the Past and I'm here with a classic film haul. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I'm super excited to show you what I've gotten over the past few months. So let's start with the Blu-rays and DVDs. So the first two um, are from Kino Lober and they are two Blu-rays. This one is Madam X from 1966 and this one is Portrait in Black from 1960. Um, these were released around the same time since they're both Lana Turner movies and they're both directed by Ross Hunter. This one I reviewed a little while ago. Um, it stars John Forsyth, Mon Ricardo Montalban's in it, Burgess Meredith, Cara Delea, Constance Bennett in her very final role um, and it is quite overwhelming. <laughs> I had lots of opinions about it so I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out my review but it basically it's a soap opera and this woman goes through pretty much every bad thing you can imagine and the audience never really gets a break and it's exhausting but um looks really amazing and there's uh like she is especially in the beginning of the movie she's draped in like beautiful gowns and jewels so it's worth watching but yeah just be ready for a palate cleanser right after and this one portrait in black um this one i haven't seen yet um, and the reason I really wanted to see this is that I've seen most of Sandra Dee's um, filmography, but this one is missing, so I want to be able to check that one off. This one stars Lana Turner and Anthony Quinn. They're an adulterous couple, and um, she has like this tyrannical husband, and they plot to murder him, but then someone finds out that it's a murder, and um, things start to unravel. So I'm excited to, to watch this one and see if I like it. So those two are from Kino Lorber. Then the next two are from Warner Archive, the Warner Archive collection. And this one I didn't even imagine could happen and it did and I'm so happy, which is A Patch of Blue from 1965 on Blu-ray. A Patch of Blue on Blu-ray. I mean, this is amazing. Um, yes, it's a black and white movie and usually I'm not going to upgrade to um, black and white movies on Blu-ray, but the Warner Archive Collection did such a good job with Out of the Past, which is one of my absolute favorite movies. Obviously, you know, inspired the name of my blog and the name of this channel. Um, Patch of Blue is in my top 10 favorite films. It is I, I love it so much. It stars Sidney Poitier, Shelley Winters, and Elizabeth Hartman, and it's a sweet story about this um, um, abused blind girl who befriends Sidney Poitier's character, and she doesn't know that he's black, and they develop this um, relationship. It was released in 1965. I feel like if it had been released 10 years later, probably would have had a different ending. Um, the ending's not ideal, but um, I've actually written a research article about the film, um, about the source material and how it was, um, how it was developed and um, what the, what the, like the original story was even worse. <laughs> and um, how Sidney Poitier came to play um, the part. So I'll leave that link down below. I took a look at it this morning and the quality is like really amazing so I'm excited to to watch the whole thing on blu-ray and have it so this is what it looks like so excited and then also from the Warner Archive collection is Coquette from 1929 it's 100% talking picture. So this is Mary Pickford's first talking picture. Also mm -hmm. co-stars Johnny Mac Brown, who I think is totally underrated and could have done more, but oh well. Um, it, I watched it last night, was kind of disappointed in it, um, but it's still something you definitely want to watch considering it's an early talking. I love, I love, love, love the movies from that transition period from 1927 to 1929. I love seeing what they did with sound and um, this is like a southern drama about this um, very young wealthy coquette um, who's basically the toast of the town and she falls in love with Johnny Mac Brown who is this rich, uh, sorry, this poor guy who can't even afford uh, you know a, a nice suit to go to the dance with her and so um, he goes away to try to like um, make something of himself and comes back and then something terrible happens and that's 
um, I'll leave it there. So I'm writing a review of this. It should be up soon, um, but yeah. So this is available on DVD MOD, which is made on demand from the Warner Archive collection. So next up is a movie I have never seen and it got a Blu-ray release from Arrow Academy recently and everyone has been going nuts over it and I'm like, what is this movie? Why have, haven't I seen it? It's called Hold Back the Dawn. It's a Mitchell Lysen movie and it stars um, Charles Boyer, um, Olivia de Havilland, and Paulette Goddard. Um, it's available on Blu-ray now from Arrow Academy. Um, my good friend Farron Smith Nemi sent me this as a get well present. If you haven't heard, I had um, a bad burn on my leg and I've been recovering for the last couple and a half weeks. And friends have been so nice to send me some get well presents and this one was a classic film related one which is really cool. And what's cool about it too is that it has a booklet inside and Farron wrote the essay. Let me open it up. It's Frontiers of the Heart, Revisiting Hold Back the Dawn. So I'm super excited to read this. Um, read this article and watch this movie. It's basically um, Charles Boyer is a um, Romanian who's in Mexico and he's trying to cross over um, into the United States but he's um, put in a holding pattern and Paulette Goddard convinces him to um, marry an American girl so he can, um, he can emigrate into the United States faster. And that's where Olivia de Havilland comes in. So that's all I know. And this is actually really cool because it's got a reversible cover. Oh. So here's the other cover. So you can switch it out if you wanted, which um, that doesn't happen very often. I don't see it with the Warner Archive ones, but I have seen it a few times with the Kino Lover ones. And I like that. See, now it's got a, a whole other look. So thank you to Farron for sending me this. It's a very sweet present and I can't wait to watch it and I hopefully I can put this back the way it should go with its new cover. Oh shoot. Okay. This won't go in the blooper reel. I'll just keep this here. <laughs> okay. So now it's got a different, different look. That's pretty cool. So the next um, DVD that I got is not classic film related, but this is a total shameless plug for my other website, which is kelmovies.com. I review new movies. My focus really is indie films, films um, directed by women, focused on women, like female focused, um, LGBTQ films, foreign films, especially from um, countries that maybe you're not as familiar with their um, cinematic um, offerings. And I definitely want to watch more uh, films that are Spanish language because I speak Spanish and also Portuguese language because I speak, I speak Portuguese. And pretty much anything that's under the radar. And I've been going to some amazing film festivals recently. And last year I went to the Toronto International Film Festival and totally missed this movie, Rafiki. And I had plans to go see it but um, I backtracked and changed my plans, which happens at film festivals, but I was determined to watch it and um, I missed a couple more opportunities. I'm like, no, I have next opportunity I get to watch Rafiki, I'm watching it. Film Movement um, released this on DVD recently and I was like, yes, I'm going to review the DVD. That's going to be awesome. So this is a film by Wanur Wanuri Kahio. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, this is a Kenyan lesbian romance between two young women who fall in love, but in Kenya, homosexuality is illegal. So um, it's a beautiful movie. This is a really nice package. I like the bright yellow. It's a gorgeous film. There's like a little booklet with um, film movements, other releases. They do a lot. They release a lot of um, indie films and um, foreign films. This little booklet with their stuff. They also have a. Um, they also have a really cool uh, streaming service. This is just like a little insert in the back here. And this also comes with a bonus um, 10 minute short film um, called Hudson. So yeah, if uh, definitely go check out calmovies.com. I'm going back to the Toronto International Film Festival 
next month. So make sure you bookmark that page so you can check out my coverage and you can check out my review of this movie. Okay, next up are a couple gifts I got from Turner Classic Movies and I'm so delighted to get these in the mail. First is this, TCM Take Note, which is a classic film journal. Haven't used it yet, but I journal all the time. And this is really cool. It says, um, has it's basically formatted for title, venue, date, casting, crew, quote, soundtrack, and thoughts. And then you can even give the film a rating. So you can basically catalog um, your classic movie watching experience. Um, I don't know if they sell this online. They probably do. I think it's kind of a cool thing to have. Um, I take notes like crazy, especially classic film books, but I will, anytime I watch a classic movie or even just a new movie to review, I will take notes. I've even taken notes in the dark <laughs> in a theater and then try to make sense of those like chicken scratches afterwards. So it's always useful to have something else to catalog my movies. And they also sent me this really cool Tumblr. It says Turner Classic Movies, Industrial Strength, Fearless Films at Your Service. It's really nice. And I actually write for the TCM Tumblr, so <laughs> that's kind of fun. <laughs> that I have a TCM Tumblr and I write for the TCM Tumblr. So um, thank you to TCM for this cool cool mug which I'm actually kind of scared to use because it's so pretty. I'm just gonna keep it on maybe my shelf or somewhere as decoration but yeah thank you. Okay what would a classic film haul be without books and I got two books and here they are. So these are both from Chicago Review Press so thank you to them for sending them to me. I visited their booth at Book Expo America and I was really interested in these two books in particular so it was a surprise when I got them in the mail and I can't wait to review them. Um, the first one is this one right here which comes out in November. A long time ago in a cutting room far far away my 50 years editing Hollywood hits, Star Wars, Carrie, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Mission Impossible, and More, and more by Paul Hirsch. So uh, I really want to read more about people behind the scenes in the filmmaking process. Uh, Paul Hirsch is a film editor and it, um, this book obviously is written by him and each chapter, which I think is, this is pretty interesting, um, each chapter is about a different film that he worked on. So um, Carrie was his first, um, his first hit. And then he talks about um, Star Wars, The Fury, The Empire Strikes Back, Blowout, Footloose, um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Steel Magnolias. So each chapter is kind of devoted on a different project. Um, this, yeah, as I said, this comes out in November. This is an advanced reader's copy, so it's not actually going to look exactly like this, but I'm sure the cover will probably be the same. Um, so yeah, I really, I don't think I've ever read a book about a film editor. So this will be, I think, if anything, an educational experience and I can learn more about filmmaking process and I encourage you to do that. Don't just stick to directors and to actors and actresses. Broaden your horizons, read about other people. That's my PSA. And another person who, um, controversial figure and also somebody kind of behind the scenes. This book, Hollywood Godfather, The Life and Crimes of Billy Wilkerson, which is actually written by his son, W.R. Wilkerson III. So this came out a little while ago, but I missed it and I really wanted to, to review it. Um, Billy Wilkerson, he um, owned and was the publisher of The Hollywood Reporter. He started several nightclubs on Sunset Strip he um, he's credited for bringing Clark Gable and Lana Turner to Hollywood. He wined and dined with the stars. It's said too in the description that he also destroyed some careers, which I was like, wow, I want to know more about that. He um, even had like he um, was involved with the mob. He had some sort of dealing with Bugsy Siegel. So it seems like like this is this is gonna have some scandalous stuff in it. But it's also written by his son, so I'm curious to see how that turns out. And in the middle, there's like um, an insert with photos. Um, and so it's, it's talking about his time in um, Las Vegas and in Hollywood. So here's, here's like the insert. So this is a really nice hardcover book. I'm excited to review this on my blog. So watch for that review soon. 
Last but not least is probably the most unusual item I've ever had on a classic film haul video, and it's this right here. It's me! This is Flat Raquel. <laughs> so basically, if, um, if you follow my adventures, you know that I go to the TCN Classic Film Festival every year, but I couldn't go this year. There was various reasons why I couldn't go. I, ha I knew eventually I'd have to skip a year, and this was the year I had to skip. So my good friend Nikki um, she came up with this idea. So basically she had this picture of me printed out on a piece of cardboard and it was put on a stick. The stick is no longer on here. Um, but um, there, and there were a few of them. I think there might've been three or four of them. And um, Nikki and a lot of my friends who I know from the festival and from classic movies from, from being online and us just sharing our love of classic film and for um, talking about TCM and stuff, um, they took Flat Raquel on adventures. She went to the red carpet, she went to um, lots of different um, film screenings, she went out to Mel's Diner, she went out for drinks, she hung out with Alicia Malone and Leonard Maltin. I mean, there's like so many cool photos. If you go to Twitter and look up hashtag Flat Raquel TCMF, F. You'll see some of these and I'll show a loop here too so you can see a few. Um, you can go to my Instagram at Kelmovies um, and I have a little highlight with um, a little collection too that you can look at. So um, Nikki sent me this after the fact so I can have it. This is actually a picture of me just like you know, like almost like a bust version <laughs> from here up. Um, when I was posing um, at the um, Robert Mitchum um, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He d doesn't have like a grave or anywhere you can visit, so um, that's like my one place I go visit him. And I really love how the picture came out, so it was cool. So it's cool to see this kind of blown up and then <laughs> to see her adventures at the TCM Film Festival. Next year I plan to be there in person, but it was cool this year just to have something in my place. And on the back of it, this is where like the the stick went. Um, on the back of it, um, Nikki wrote down all the places that um, this flat Raquel was at, like the Hollywood Roosevelt um, Hotel. She was at the um, Margaret Herrick Library, the red carpet, in an out burger, all the film screenings that she went to. Oh, it's so cool. So. Big, huge thank you to Nikki. I'm so impressed with what you did with this and thank you for sending it to me. And yeah, um, this is just probably one of the coolest things that's ever happened. And also, yeah, the most unusual thing I've ever had in a classic film haul. Well, thanks for watching my classic film haul. I hope you liked it and make sure that you click the subscribe button and click the like button. It helps me out a lot. I'm working towards a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, that would help me. And I hope you like this video and I'm working on some new ideas for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.